let's talk about the next major uh, merger potential. Microsoft in talks to acquire video game chat app Discord for upwards of $10 billion. People familiar with the deal say that nothing is imminent, and the service, which garners more than 100 million monthly active users, uh, may even go public rather than sell itself. But this is just one of several deals that we've been seeing, a big railroad deal earlier this, this week. Your thoughts on, on what the deal flow shows us uh, in terms of the impact on markets? Yeah, we're in IPO heaven right now. Um, if you look at this quarter specifically, it's the biggest quarter ever in initial public offerings. In fact, it's like $162 billion is being raised. Now, to put that in perspective, Maria, last year at the same time, it was only $38 billion that was raised from IPOs. And the crazy thing is, if you look at all the IPOs, IPOs from last year, and you look at the profitability, well, 80% aren't profitable. <laughs> so I think the big theme right now is go public while you can. If you're not making money, it's okay. You know, the market's completely comfortable with it. And I think this goes back to what Dennis Gartman just said. I think a lot of people, a lot of strategists and economists, unlike myself and Dennis Gartman, of course, are naive about where interest <laughs> rates are going. And I mean, at the end of the day, you know, the economy is going to run red hot at the end of the year. I've talked about this a lot. And my new indicator, it's the best indicator you can possibly have when looking at the economy, is my Miami Beach spring break indicator. You know, if you have any doubts that people want to get out, get the animal spirits going and go wild, just look what happens, what's happening in Miami right now. <laughs> and I think that's indicative yeah. of what's going to happen in the economy as it reopens. Okay. Yeah, we're going to talk with the uh, mayor of Miami Beach coming up later on in the show to talk about that spring break. No, I, I think that there is a pent up demand. I agree with you that people want to get out and that the economy will see uh, a good performance. Uh, the estimates are, are all the way up there at 9 percent for GDP. So you would think that as a result of that, rates rates continue to tick up higher.